It's the Out Route with Trey Tutson. This week we talked the Super Bowl, the Lakers losing, and if you want to know what the top five throwback jerseys are of all time, tune in right now. The Out Route, up next. Cincinnati Bengals are going to a Super Bowl. Bravo, Bengals. What the Bengals going to a Super Bowl was crazy is that the city of Cincinnati has actually increased its value from $400 to $405. This is the first time that the Bengals will have a full roster where none of the players have COVID or a case pending. The Super Bowl will be held at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. <laughs> well, they are charging people $8,000 for standing room only tickets. Yeah. $8,000 to stand. And for $20 million, you can kneel. And if you sit down at the game, you actually own some of the Super Bowl. $8,000 to stand, and they got a lot of women that are going to these games alone, like away from their partners, which I got to say, if your lady goes to this game by herself, that meant that she was never your lady to begin with. If she goes to this game by herself, you have every right to have another woman there once she shows back up. Like, Frank, who's this? Oh, her right here? <laughs> This is misreasonable. Farewell to you. A lot of stuff has been changing throughout all of sports, but one thing remains the same. The Los Angeles Lakers just keep on losing. They keep losing. And everybody's trying to figure out why. Is it that LeBron's getting old? Is it that Russell Westbrook just doesn't fit? Is it that Frank Vogel doesn't know what he's doing? Nope. None of those things. The reason that the Los Angeles Lakers keep losing is because Anthony Davis is soft. That's right. This guy's weak and everybody knows it. Injury after injury. Anthony Davis is hurt more than Drake's feelings. And why is this? What is the problem? Why is this guy so soft? Well, it's not his fault. It's not his fault that he is built like a wet paper bag. Not his fault at all. This guy was born like this. We've actually done some research. Here's some live footage of his conception. This batch is for See? commercial use. Each roll is individually well, the guy that's wrapped off, in paper. The Lakers would be better off just having a can of Tenactin to replace Anthony Davis. They just need somebody tough. Sad thing happened in the football world last week. And no, I'm not speaking of Tom Brady's retirement. Rest in peace. I'm talking about the fact that the Kansas City Chiefs are not going to a third straight Super Bowl. This is a disappointment. But as a Houstonian, I think that this is karma. And I think that this karma is going to have a mystery wrapped in it. Yes, that's right. If y'all don't know, in the 2020 playoffs, Kansas City Chiefs came back from being down 21-0 to the Houston Texans and ended up winning the game 51-31. That's right. And just recently, right, Cincinnati Bengals came back and they beat the Kansas City Chiefs after being down 21-3, to which it has me thinking. I'm just thinking and I'm just guessing. We might want to start looking around Kansas City because there might be some massage parlors that has Patrick Mahomes' name written all over it. I'm just saying, he comes back and he beats Deshaun Watson and this guy can no longer play, but we find out that <laughs> this story is not going to have such a happy ending. People of Kansas City, let's look into this because this seems to be a trend that happens in the NFL. Silence. Silence calms the mind. Silence calms the body. Silence. It relaxes you. Uh -huh. 
try silence. It's free. And now for the top five. Top five throwback jerseys of all time. And before I get into the throwback jerseys, I would like to say that nothing captures a moment or an attitude better than a throwback jersey. You want to say a statement, you throw a jersey on and it speaks it for you. So let's get right into it. Top five jerseys of all time. Throwback jerseys of all time. Number five, the number five USC jersey. This is a jersey where everybody was wearing it. It didn't have no name on the back, but everybody knew who it was. Everybody knows that jersey is Reggie Bush. You put this jersey on when you want somebody to know, hey, you ain't got to know my name, but you know who I am. Number four, 2001 Kobe. That's right, the purple eight. That's a jersey right there that lets you know, hey, a star has a here. A star has arrived. Number three. 1996 Allen Iverson. That's right. That Allen Iverson jersey says, I have arrived and I'm here to stay. Number two, 1998 Jordan. That's right. That 98 Jordan speaks volumes. Let's everybody know I'm the GOAT. I'm here. I'm above all of y'all. And the number one throwback jersey of all times. The 1973 Buffalo Bills OJ Simpson. That's right. This is a killer jersey. This jersey right here was so dope. OJ robbed some people to steal it back. That's how dope that jersey is. And that's been the top five. And that's been the out route. My name is Trey Tutson. I want to say that y'all please subscribe. Keep tuning in. I love making these. See y'all next week.